This video is about the formula that computes the exact volume enclosed by subdivision surfaces. For the derivation and proof, please refer to our article. I'm going to explain the volume formula for three popular subdivision schemes, Loop, Catmull clark and Duesabin. Up front some examples. This is the subdivision surface defined by the unit cube and the Duesabin scheme. The enclosed volume is the fraction indicated. This is the surface produced by Loop's algorithm with the tetrahedron as input. The enclosed volume is the fraction indicated. Four unit cubes glued together in this fashion, subdivided by Catmull Clark, results in a surface with enclosed volume of about 2.5. The exact value is the fraction indicated. Using our formula, we can perturb the initial control mesh and ensure that the subdivision surface does not change volume. Here is a more sophisticated design. Subdivision with Catmull clark contracts the volume to about 67% of the volume of the initial mesh. If you have computed volumes of meshes before, you are familiar with the determinant formula for triangling to surfaces. The XYZ coordinates of the three points that span the triangle are arranged into a matrix. We compute the determinant of the matrix, scale, and this is carried out for all triangles and added up to the final volume. We generalize this a bit further. The determinant is equivalent to a 3x3x3 three by three by three trilinear form. The XYZ coordinates of the points are arranged in vectors that become the input to the trilinear form. There, these are the 27 coefficients of the trilinear forms uh, of the trilinear form. Using this simple formula, one can approximate the volume enclosed by subdivision surfaces. However, for increased precision, one needs to subdivide the mesh up to a certain level. Our new formula makes this obsolete. The volume formula for loop surfaces is of similar form as the determinant formula. But the three points from just the triangle are insufficient. Instead, the XYZ coordinates of the points in the one ring of the triangle have to be taken, as shown in the animated graphics. The one ring depends on the valence of the non-regular vertex. Green indicates the regular topology. For each of these topologies, different trilinear forms apply. The dimensions are 9 by 9 by 9, 10 by 10 by 10, and growing. The formula is a sum over the volume contribution of each triangle. We visualize these values by coloring the triangles in the mesh based on their contribution to the global volume. Uh, these are three example meshes. The values aren't too different from the determinant formula. The volume enclosed by catmull clark surfaces is, again, similar. We have a sum over all quads in the mesh. All points in the one ring of the quad contribute as shown in the animation. The one ring can be of different topology. Green indicates the regular case. The number of coefficients in the corresponding trilinear form grow steeply for higher valence vertices. Here, the contribution of each quad is color-coded for three example meshes. Finally, let's discuss Duseben. The enclosed volume is a sum over all vertices of the mesh. Each vertex has valence 4. The coordinates that are input to the trilinear form come from the four faces adjacent to the vertex, as shown in the graphics. Common topologies are shown here together with the dimension of the corresponding trilinear form. We color code the contribution of each vertex uh, to the global volume here. Finally, let me give you an impression of how such a trilinear form looks like. In a Duseben mesh where three quads and one triangle are adjacent to a vertex, the following 8 by 8 by 8 trilinear form apply, applies. We list the trilinear form as eight, eight by eight matrices. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some final remarks. The coefficients of the trilinear forms can be thought of as magic constants that apply universally to all meshes. The coefficients are characterized only by the subdivision scheme. When you want to compute the volume of loop, catmull clark or Dusabin surfaces, you can obtain the trilinear forms from my website for import to Mathematica and MATLAB. Thank you for watching.